ground black pepper, pink Himalayan salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. These are going to be the seasoning that we're going to use to our T-bone steaks. What's going on YouTube? My name is Verik. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to grill T-bone steaks. A T-bone steak consists of two parts. The smaller part is your fillet and the bigger part which has that fat outside is your New York. First, let's sprinkle this with a little bit of uh, pink Himalayan salt. Then we follow it up with our black ground pepper, which a lot of you love to put a little bit of oil before you season your steak. You can do either or. You can put a little bit of oil in there, you can put a little bit of ghee in there, or you can just sprinkle it dry, whatever your preference is. Third is our onion powder. I love onion powder. It brings good aroma and good flavor on your steak when you throw them in the grill. Last, we use our garlic powder. Everybody loves garlic. Everybody loves that garlic taste and that garlic aroma on your meat. Okay, let's just flip that steak and do exactly what you did to the other side. Now, we're ready to throw it in the grill. Go ahead and preheat your grill. Some grill does not have the temperature gauge and a lot of grills does not have the accurate reading on their temperature gauge. So I really don't worry about it. I will just preheat the grill, I'll say like around 10 to 12 minutes. Then go ahead and throw your steak in there. Make sure you hear that sizzling sound when you throw it in there. It means your grill is actually on the right temperature. Okay, after a minute to a minute and a half, let's go ahead and take a quick peek. If you got your grill marks right there then if you do just go ahead and rotate your steak at least 90 degrees to the right both of them just for you to get that nice grill marks same thing I'm gonna close the lid wait for at least a minute a minute and a half Open your grill, take a quick peek, got your nice grill marks, and flip the steak. You can actually tell like how that piece of meat's trying to separate. That's how tender it is. So same thing, close the lid, a minute, a minute and a half, two minutes, then do exact the same thing, close it, rotate it to uh, at least like 90 degrees to uh, the right, just for you to get the, um, the nice grill marks. Close the lid. Probably another minute to a minute and a half. Then that's it. Take your steaks out of the grill. It's better to undercook than to overcook. There you have it. That's your T-bone steak. Let's go ahead and uh, try and take a look. Right there, it's perfect. 
it's a little bit pink, a little bit red. Juicy. There's no blood. That's exactly how a medium rare steak looks like. Alrighty guys, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more cooking and eating videos. Thank you very much.